Good morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name is Ross, and as always told, I had a voice of radio, so today I'm going to be showing you Celebi Prism Star. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. We kind of knew Celebi Prism Star was coming, but it's nice to see what it actually does. And I would love to have brought you this video yesterday, ladies and gentlemen, but unfortunately, well, it, it wasn't to be. Sorry about that. There was too much good stuff. There was too much good stuff coming around yesterday. It, it was almost impossible. I'm sorry. That's the way it is. However, we can bring it to you now. And speaking of bringing it to you, our translation is brought to you by the lovely Rappelman TCG, Mr. David Hockman himself. So what do we have? We have a 90 HP basic, which on the upside means you can use level ball. Yay! And expanded. But on the downside, it's got 90 HP and a weakness to fire. That is not ideal. It means if you are in expanded and someone uses a Volcanion and a single steam up with Volcanion EX, you will be going down. This, ladies and gentlemen, is a very fragile Pokemon. And that probably shouldn't surprise you all that much much. Celebi EX had a fairly pitiful amount of HP, 110. Celebi Prime had 60 HP, so compared to that, 90 is huge. But it's not a particularly bulky Pokemon. Let's get that out of the way. Retreat cost of one is very nice because you can use a skateboard or it's just, you know, a retreat cost of one. Weakness to fire, kind of annoying. But then again, you've only got 90 HP. And the fact that you're a grass Pokemon, you can use Aether Paradise Conservation Area. But you've got such low HP, I don't know if it will make a difference. You can use Life Forest Prism Star, which is a once per turn Pokemon Center Lady, onto a grass Pokemon. But I don't know if it will make any difference. And you are hitting weakness against stuff like Lycan Rock and Lapras. Yay! But what does it actually do? Well, it's got a very weird attack, ladies and gentlemen. What it does for one colorless energy, time distortion. Choose as many as your evolved bench Pokemon as you like, and put as many evolution cards from the top of that chosen Pokemon as you like into your hand. So it, it lets you devolve as many of your bench Pokemon as you like. To put it another way, it's essentially an attack that says, look, you know that Devolution Spray item card? Yeah, use that as many times as you want. It's a weird attack. And at first glance, there's probably a bunch of you that are looking at that going, why? And a lot of the time, yeah. I mean, if you're playing something like a Gardevoir deck, nah. Most of the time, you're really not going to want to devolve here. But you see... There are many, many times you may wish to actually use this, and that's where we're coming from here. So let's look at some of the reasons why we may, in fact, wish to devolve a particular Pokemon. Well, let's go to Gardevoir. I said usually you wouldn't want to, and I stand by it. Usually you wouldn't want to. But here's the thing. Gardevoir is a GX. Gardevoir gives up two prizes. Well, that's not ideal. However, Curlia is a non-GX. Curlia gives up one prize. So let's say your opponent has four prizes remaining to win the game. And you have got a fresh Guard of War on your field and two heavily damaged Guard of War. What you can do is actually devolve them both so that they both get KO'd. And that gives your opponent two prizes but takes four prizes off the board and then your opponent cannot take out that final guard of wire and they don't win the game it's a weird use for it ladies and gentlemen but it will work what is far more likely is a coming into play ability so let's talk about the new alolan nine tails an amazing pokemon that loads of you are super hyped about personally i'm not i don't think it's going to be quite as good as a lot of you guys do but it's very very hyped and the ability says, when you evolve up into Alolan Ninetales, you may search your deck for any two item cards and put them into your hand. It's a great ability. But it's a coming into play ability. You get it the turn you evolve up into Alolan Ninetales, but that's it. You can't have it anymore after that. Or can you? Because remember, Devolution Spray is rotated out. Devolution Spray is gone. You cannot have it anymore. Well, that's okay, because all of a sudden now, you devolve all of your Alolan Ninetales into Alolan Vulpix, and then next turn, I mean, you could potentially get eight item cards in one turn, because they go into your hand. That's right. 
they go into your hand. So next turn, they're all ready to just immediately evolve up and go. And sure, your opponent could play something like a judge to get those cards back into your deck. But even if they put your hand back in your deck and you have to draw a new hand of four cards, those Alolan Ninetales are in your deck ready to come out. And that could give you the last few items you need to actually win the game. Yeah, that could be awesome. But this isn't just for GX Pokemon. This is for non-GX, it's for any Pokemon at all. So let's take something like the Raichu from Burning Shadows. The Raichu from Burning Shadows, when you evolve up into it, instant paralysis. Sweet! And people have been using this with stuff like Heatmore to recover cards from your discard pile while you paralyze every single turn. Problem is, with Devolution Spray having gone away, you evolve up your four Raichu and that's it, you can't have them anymore. Whereas something like Celebi comes along and goes, look, all right, here's a great idea. I am going to devolve all of your Raichu down to Pikachu and then we're off and rolling. You can now evolve them all back up and off you go. Or maybe you devolve a Gardevoir and then you evolve it back into a non-GX Gardevoir because that's got the attack that you want. Or maybe you take out one of the Water Alolan Ninetales GX and then evolve it into the Fairy type to be hitting a different weakness and to get that great ability. This is a weird kind of attack on a weird kind of card that is not always going to be immediately apparent why you would want it and how you would use it. But the thing is, there are so many opportunities here for weird plays. This is the kind of card where you've got to look three turns in the future and go, right, I don't want too many GXs on my field now, so let's devolve down my GXs so my opponent's not got a chance. Heck, let's say time is called. My opponent has got two more turns and four prizes left to take. And I won game one. So if my opponent doesn't win game two, I win the match. What do you do? You play down Celebi. You devolve all of your Zoroarks down into Zorua and you guarantee that you win the match because your opponent has got two turns to take out two GXs. So what you do is you Celebi to devolve down into non-GXs guaranteeing that your opponent is unable to take four prizes and win the game. And I'm giving you a bunch of examples as to what you can do with Celebi and how you can make it cool. Believe me, ladies and gentlemen, there are approximately one billion other ways you can use this. Yes, exaggeration has been used here. There are a lot of things that Celebi can do, and I haven't even scratched the surface. It reminds me very much of Electro GX. When I made Electro GX, it made me want to make seven other videos about all the different things you can do with Electro GX. And I'm sure that over the next couple of months, I'm going to make more videos about Celebi Prism Star. And they're basically going to be me going, look at all the cool things you can do with Celebi, because it's that fun. And as a side note, right, you have got to love the consistency of a Pokemon like Celebi. Celebi says, look, I deal with pre-evolutions. That is what I do. Last Celebi we got, Shining Celebi. What did it do? Let you use the attacks of pre-evolutions. And now we've got this Celebi, which allows you to devolve your Pokemon. You've got to love Pokemon that have themes. Celebi has a theme. Now, it also technically does have an attack, but ladies and gentlemen, please don't get excited because you'll get excited and then you'll end up sad. What does it do? 20 damage for one grass energy, heal 20 damage from this Pokemon. Here are the things I don't like about this attack. It's for a grass energy where this attack really, the first one, the one we like, can be put into any deck whatsoever, making it really splashable. Basic Pokemon single colorless energy. Now you're telling me this attack only works for grass decks, boo, hiss, etc. Number two, it only does 20 damage. 20 damage is not very good. Okay, with a choice band, you're getting a two hit KO on a Lycan Rock. No, it's not very nice. And number three, it heals 20 damage, which is basically insulting because it's got 90. HP, it's just going to get one hit KO'd. I was joking at the beginning of the video about how Aether Paradise Conservation Area and Life Forest Prism Star don't mean much because this has got such low HP. 
And even though the attack heals, this is not a tanking Pokemon. It's got 90 HP. You can literally search it out with level ball because it's got tiny HP. No, ladies and gentlemen, no. But that's okay. Because I love this first attack. And this is the kind of card you can expect to see popping up in all kinds of decks. Basic Pokemon, single colorless energy, doing all kinds of things. And it's going to be so much fun. But this is the time you tell me about Celebi. I want to know all the weird and dumb things that you're going to do with Celebi. So let me know in the comment section. Go nuts. But do please remember the rule, ladies and gentlemen. Be nice. Make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wassie, and Twitch for some live action at twitch.tv slash PTCG Radio. If you want to support the channel, get some bonus podcasts and all of that malarkey, head on over to patreon.com slash PTCG Radio, where you can do exactly that. But by far the most important thing, as always, is to look after yourselves. Until next time. Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching. PTCG Radio.